Hi friends, once again welcome back. So we have already pushed a video where you can pay your self-assessment tax and make the tax liability to zero. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a process verification as well as validation of your uh, income tax returns and you receive ITR fee acknowledgement online that will be covered in this video. So if you have not yet done a tax liability and tax paid is not equal please watch the previous video to how to uh, know uh, how to pay your balance uh, self-assessment tax online. Okay as you can see here you get a screen like this where a tax paid will be one amount and your total uh, tax li liability should be the same amount. These both amounts should match that means you are supposed to pay zero rupees as a tax and even if you are having a refund this process will work but if you wanted to pay you have to watch my previous video so you can see here you need to get a payment of zero rupees that means there is nothing you are going to uh, get back or you are uh, not uh, going to make any payment also so even if refund this process will work okay it will show like this amount payable so i'm not uh, there is no amount to be paid by this person if he has any return to be uh, got some amount that will be shown as your refund amount click on preview and return once you get this page okay once you click on preview and return your name will be there you have to tick this declaration mark so and so your uh, so and so father or son or daughter also will be displayed and your capacity how you are filing as a self in this case we are filing as self i click on self so after that click uh, click at the bottom of the page and click on proceed to preview this is the option once you click on proceed to preview next page will uh, give you a preview of your returns you can download and keep this you can go through each and every information because you are going to file the complete tax returns and you cannot change later so make sure all the amount shown is as per your expectation and as well as the amount and the data should be perfectly matching as per your a tax filing expectation and also make sure account for refund is selected even if you are not having refund it is better to select uh, without that it will allow not allow you to proceed so at least one bank should be validated we have videos for that how to validate bank account you can watch those videos and once you select the bank and verify all the amount something like this and total tax paid also will be clearly shown you can verify that total tax deducted also will be there once you feel everything is okay click on proceed to validation once you click on proceed to validation if some errors are there accordingly you have to take care or delete whatever not required once process is okay it will show that the validation is you have click on validation and validation is successful you can see here no errors were found if any error is there you have to take care of that okay so once it is done proceed to verification so validation is done now we are going to verify through uh, different methods are there how to verify uh, verify you can do three methods one is e-verify now that is quick and instant that is recommended next one is you can verify later within 120 days you can do you can also send a normal or speed post to income tax department by postal uh, but i would say this is the best method the first one e-verify now because it is instant and you can do it through Aadhaar otp you don't need to wait for some time and forget and stuff okay so please uh, do this option this is the best method e-verify now it is quick and instant click on that method and click on continue button once you click on continue it will go to next page to show your itr and pan details how you wanted to verify under this also you have got many options you have Aadhaar otp option you have digital signature certificate if you have digital signature you can update uh, upload that net banking bank account dmat account a lot of options for signing in but i am going to show you uh, this option where you can uh, quickly sign in through Aadhaar otp method so just select that and after that at the bottom you can select continue option you can even go through net banking it is up to you but i am uh, selecting this method because it's very quick and fast click on continue and agree the terms and conditions and click on generate other otp and you wait for the otp to arrive to the mobile linked with your Aadhaar and uh, income tax department so make sure both uh, pan and Aadhaar should be linked to get this otp click on validate after entering the otp and you can see here confirmation submission of return clearly they showed that there is no more modification allowed so once you submit that's it if you wanted to modify you have to refile your 
ITR returns okay friends so please make sure things are right click on submit and you can see like this your mobile number and email uh, will be shown here you will get an uh, SMS as well as you get a mail also saying that you are successfully filed verified your return okay so uh, then go to dashboard and you can see that your income tax filing is completely done now let us wait for the um, uh, process where the acknowledgement will be generated you can also download the receipt here you can see the download receipt button keep uh, a copy downloaded and save thank you so much if you like the video kindly give us a like also please share and subscribe